Hi, my name is Long. I was born in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, and I am an environmentalist. You might have heard about the stories that many big food chain companies like McDonald's or Starbucks have failed to expand in Vietnam. The big reason is Vietnamese local fast food culture. There will always be fast food for you to buy from morning until midnight. It's not just cheap but also very delicious. However, that is not the things that I'm concerned about. The thing I'm concerned about is you as a container for this fast food. It's plastic. Plastic is so convenient. I can use it one time and throw it away. I don't even need to wash it because it's so cheap. With one dollar, I can buy a kilogram of plastic bag right away. So why should I bother to reuse it anyway? That was the way I used to think before I know the term plastic pollution. Yeah, you heard me. Plastic waste problem was so big that they even named it plastic pollution. The first time I heard about this kind of pollution is when I watched a video of a swimmer who swam in the ocean garbage park. He was surrounded by plastic everywhere. This video shocked me. Then I continued to watch more video about plastic pollution. I didn't know that the plastic straw that I used to drink every day can stuck into a turtle nose. It wasn't a good feeling. Not at all. That's plastic. As an environmentalist, I started to do more research about plastic pollution. There is an interesting information about it. Plastic can take up to hundreds of years to be decomposed. However, biodegradable plastic can be decomposed faster in the environment, which it could take only a few months for a plastic bag to disappear. So, if we don't care about the animals, can we just ignore and wait for the plastic to decompose? As I looked deeper on the biodegradable plastic, I found some problems with biodegradable plastic. According to William Harris on how stuff works, the condition for the biodegradable plastic to be decomposed have to be just right. It will be break down more efficiently in commercial composting facility at high temperatures. When buried in landfills, plastic bed made from corn may remain intact just as long as a plastic bed made from oil or natural gas. So there would be no problem at all if the biodegradable plastic stay in the commercial composting facilities. However, when they are in the ocean, due to the ocean temperature, this plastic will decompose much slower. Instead, they will be broken down into smaller fragments by the sun. Oceanographers say it is not only having an impact on our idyllic paradises, but our ecosystem as a whole. Plastic is non-biodegradable. As I do more research, I get exposed to another concept. Scientists have divided plastic waste into three different criteria according to its size, which are macroplastic, microplastic, and nanoplastic. I realize that there is a much bigger problem with plastic pollution. Macroplastic is a relatively large particle of plastic found especially in marine environment. The big size of plastic can get to the ocean and form plastic debris. According to Wikipedia, this plastic pollution harm an estimated 100,000 sea turtles, marine mammals, and 1 million sea creatures every year. Look at that. Absolutely no doubt that this bird died Stuffed as a result of that plastic. That is literally a gut full of plastic. It's quite alarming, isn't it? Oh, it's awful. But the problem doesn't stop there. This macroplastic will be broken down by the sun until they become smaller than 5 mm. Then they will be called microplastic. Microplastic has the potential to travel into our food chain due to its small size. A blank plastic fragment might not be harmful to our human health. However, Plastic can carry toxic additives, which were used in plastic production. The small plastic fragments float in the water and take up more chemicals along the way. After that, they might get eaten by a stream or small fish, go up in our food chain and finally end up on our dinner table. 
Microplastic can accumulate toxic substance and expose it to our body. Plastic microparticles could indeed cross the placental barrier from the maternal bloodstream. Uh, so if it could get into a pregnant woman's circulation, it might get into her baby's circulation as well. Now, the reason this is concerning is that plastic debris can be a source of toxic chemicals, both chemical additives in the plastic itself, and then pollutants the plastic sucks up from the water that can then be later released into the body. It sounds very scary, right? However, there is a much more bigger trap with the even smaller plastic fragment. It's a nanoplastic. Nanoplastic is plastic fragments that are smaller than 0.0001 mm. That is even smaller than a single cell. When you eat a microplastic, your body can discharge. Unfortunately, when a plastic particle is smaller than a single cell, it could potentially travel everywhere inside your body. Related research, though still quite new, is finding that nanoplastics can accumulate in bloodstreams and cell membranes. In one experiment, they could even pass the blood-brain barrier in a fish, hinting at neurological damage. After knowing all of these problems caused by plastic waste, I can't help myself thinking about all of the consequences when I buy this container. I must find a way to stop using plastic. Thank you for watching the very first project of the Greenable Film. If you think this video is useful, please smash the like button. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel because the next video will be coming soon. Thank you.